What's common between Mahatma Gandhi, Sardar Patel, Vikram Sarabhai, Jamshed Ji Tata, Dhirubhai Ambani, Azim Premji, Tulsi Tante, and Jagdish Bhagwati. They all hail from one of the most prosperous states of India. A state that always has and will continue to produce achievers who have influenced the world economy with their values and beliefs and in the process become legends. Gujarat, the land of the legends. Gujarat, India's most industrialized state, is a land where a simple move towards self-reliance several decades ago started off a mass movement for India's freedom a movement which you can feel everywhere even today in the honest hands that toil in the scientific farming techniques and in these green fields that redefine prosperity you can see this energy everywhere in the wind farms and gas grid in the new discoveries that are ushering in energy sufficiency and in the power plants that empower life. You can notice the penchant for perfection everywhere in the temples of learning, in the world-class research institutions and in these eyes that are focused on productivity. You can experience transparency everywhere. In the digitized records, in the proactive administration, and in the statewide e-governance network that offers seamless connectivity. You can sense excellence everywhere. On the roads, in these ports, and in the robust infrastructure networked for success. You can rediscover the real meaning of life everywhere on these beaches, in these heritage monuments and in these stylish moves that spread happiness all along Gujarat, where life is a celebration. Gujarat has consistently exceeded the growth rate targets set by the Planning Commission of India. Reason why this growth engine of India continues to attract multinational conglomerates who have made Gujarat their home. Gujarat is home to the world's largest grassroot refinery and is fast emerging as the global hub for steel pipe manufacturing. Gujarat is home to over 40% of the Delhi-Mumbai industrial corridor. What's more, of the 20 million non-resident Indians, more than 50% are Gujaratis for whom Gujarat is still their first love and first home. And these enterprising Gujarati people living outside Gujarat too continue to shape the world economy. The London Directory has Patel as one of its 25 most common surnames. The motel industry of USA is entirely dominated by the Gujaratis. Of the five Indians who form the majority of Antwerp Diamond High Council Board, four are from Palanpur, Gujarat. And all these people of Gujarat, when they speak about Gujarat, they do it with passion. As Reliance, we started from here. We learned some of our best lessons here in creating every single manufacturing facility from Naroda to the world's largest grassroot refinery in Jammu. They make terrific sense. Because Gujarat, in 2007, 
is amongst the most exciting growth stories unfolding anywhere in India, perhaps even in the world. Gujarat is to India what India is and will be to the rest of the world. They talk straight from their hearts. In course of time, I think the Chief Minister will find that he will not have to attract people to Gujarat. The question will be, you're stupid if you're not here. So, with that I would say, this state is one of the most progressive states in the country. It's the fastest growing. It has a government that, that works. And I believe that as India takes its place in the world, as Mukesh said, that Gujarat will be one of its shining lights. There has to be something about this place that makes people talk about it with such gusto. There is something about the skies here and about the unlimited sunshine. There is something about the water here and about the green landscapes. There is something about the soil here and about the environment of economic freedom. There is something about this place that's now attracting global investments. So if India is on your minds, Gujarat with its global gateways and excellent connectivity to the vast Indian hinterland is the place you've got to be in. After all, there is something about this place that molds people into legends. Gujarat, the land of the legends.